What the hell? Why is my credit card bill so damn high? I can't believe this shit. What the hell is Robux? Are you sure you want to leave Pride Rock High Yawn? This is your home. This is the place you grew up. I know that, but Princess Ronnie needs my roar. Plus, I think she has feelings for me, and I have strong feelings for her, too. I just can't let her down. The Lion Guard goes where he is needed. You think she has feelings for you. She attacks you when you first met. And now that she knows you have a weapon of mass destruction, she has feelings for you? What if she is only using you for your roar? If you're going with her, I'm going too. As your Lion Guard second in command, I will always have your back to make sure you aren't doing anything stupid. That's what I figure I always always knew I can count on. Don't worry, we'll come back and check on the Pride Lands every now and then. I'm sure Princess Ronnie is a reasonable leader. Are you ready to go, my love? The Tree of Life needs us there right away. The more time away its princess is away from the Tree of Life, the more dangerous it becomes for my pride. Yes, my love, the Lion Guard is at your service. Let's go tell my parents I am leaving. I'm pretty sure they will take it well. Except my mom, she pretty clinging. Sometimes it feels like she has emotional damage or something. I wonder if she had a secret family she lost before she met my dad. But I am sure after a couple of weeks, she will get over it. I can't believe this is my last day in the Pride Land. I'm going to miss this place. Are you sure you are ready to leave your family behind Kai Yan? Aren't you going to miss them? Of course he will miss them. But then again, he will also have a new family that will care for him and bring him joy. As queen, I will make sure Kai Yan adapts to the Tree of Life. Mom, Dad, I am ready for my journey. I am here to say farewell. I know at first it will be hard to adapt to a new environment, but I have Queen Ronnie to fall on, and I know she will care for me as much as you guys did. Kai Yan, my son, I'm gonna miss you. I know how it feels to be out there alone without family, but I know you will survive like I did. The best advice I have for you, my son, is to make new friends you can rely on, and maybe call family one day, like I did with your Uncle Pumba and Timon. Thanks, Father. I will try to be the best lion. Lion I can be. And mother, please don't worry too much about me. I'm a lion guard. I can take care of myself. No matter where you go, no matter how old you are, you will always be my baby boy. If you don't come back to visit often, I will declare war on Queen Rani for taking my little boy away from me. <coughs> she is joking. Please, honey, don't overreact. You don't want to start a war on a joke. Little brother, the next time I will see you. You will be all grown up. Who knows? Maybe we both be parents. Well, farewell on your trip. Don't worry about us. Take your time. I'll make sure in my reign the pride lands will prosper. It's time for me to leave. Farewell, guys. I'll miss you. <laughs> I can't believe it. We're starting our new future today. I'm so excited on what the future holds for us. Oh, hell no, he didn't. Pumba, did he just leave without saying goodbye to us? Yeah, he did. He did us so damn dirty. I had a dream. I think it is time for me to return home. This problem we've been fighting for years. I feel like the answer I am looking for is in the Pride Lands. If anyone knows a solution, it is Rafiki. You must find him and tell him of the situation. Because this mysterious lion gets more powerful every day. And I'm not sure even us Lion Guard can stop him. Don't worry, I won't let anything happen to both of my homes. I will find a solution and stop this problem before a war breaks out between the Seven Nation Prides. Make sure you don't tell Queen Ronnie until morning. Sometimes I feel like she is more clinging than my mother. I can't believe I'm going home after five long years. I can't wait to see everyone. Well, everyone except the bastard King of the North. <laughs> he is going to be so mad you've been calling him that to all seven prides. I can't even believe how famous the bastard King of the North has gotten. Well, have a good trip. I'll make sure everything here is safe. I don't care if he gets mad. A hottie once said, no king is really a king if he doesn't earn the crown. Every king must fight for the right to lead a pride. I guess the adoptive son is following the steps of his adoptive father. I will show no respect to a fake crown to a fake bastard king. The sun rises over the pride lands, casting a golden glow over the savannah. Simba, now older and no longer king, stands proudly on pride rock, looking out over his home. Every day he wonders about his son, how he left to find his own path, to find his place in the circle of life. But Simba can't help but miss his son, especially as he watches his home flourish and grow without his son by his side. Meanwhile, in a distant land, Keon roams the vast plains, his mane grown fuller, his frame more muscular. He runs with purpose to reunite with his family. He never imagine being gone this long. Mom, Dad, I'm home. God, I never imagined being gone this long. I miss you all so much. I'm home, Dad. I'm sorry it took me so long, but I am home now. 
Am I dreaming? Is it really you, son? Dad, it's me. Welcome home, my son. You've grown into a magnificent lion. Check out that sweet red mane. Handsome like your pops, of course. I've missed you so much. I'm happy to see you home. I'm glad you remembered your home. This place will always be here for you, my son, no matter what. Dad, I traveled through deserts and jungles, across mountains and rivers. I met lions and creatures of all kinds, each with their own stories and wisdom to share. It sounds like you've seen more of the world than I ever have, son. What did you learn out there? I learned that the circle of life is vast and interconnected, Dad. Every creature has a role to play, every moment is a chance to learn and grow, and I learned that no matter how far I roam, my heart will always belong here, with you and Mom, with our pride, with the Pride Lands. Your mother will be happy to see you when she wakes up, and also Kiara. Who? I'm joking! I'm joking. Yes, of course, Kiara! I totally can't wait to see my sister again. I hope she missed me as much as I miss her. <laughs> My baby boy finally is home. I'm going to kill that girl that stole you away from me. Mom, not so hard. You're messing up my mane. Don't blame Queen Ronnie for me being gone too long. I was hard at work protecting the Tree of Life. There was a lot of evil herds out there trying to take it away from her. I just had to do my part. Queen Kiara, I know you are busy running your kingdom, but your brother is finally home. Why don't you go say hello, sweetie? Dad, I'm queen now. If there is a guest in my kingdom, they must come and show respect to me and not the other way around. He is not a guest in your kingdom. He is your brother and this is his home. Please go say hello before he leaves again. Damn son, is that my brother from another mother? Oh, snap it is. How you been, knucklehead? Looks like you're all grown up. And a redhead, too. Hey, Tofu. Man, long time. Time no see. How you been? I've been great, really, but the name is Kovu. And I'm king of the Pride Lands after Simba retired from the throne. That's awesome to hear. I'm glad that you found a place here with my family. May the name King Tofu be remembered for generations and generations. What do you mean, Kayon left? Do you even know what will happen if Queen Rani finds out that her fiancé is missing? We have a situation, and the only answer we had was to head home for help. Don't worry, I am here to protect the Tree of Life. I won't let anything happen to Queen Rani and her pride. Do you know what a bride Zilla is? Imagine telling a bride that her future husband left before the royal wedding. Queen Rani is going to fucking kill someone. Like literally rip someone to pieces. I woke up today and my future husband wasn't by my side. Is he out on an early patrol? I told him no dangerous missions before our wedding. I don't want him covered in bruises during our wedding. Well, speak, ladies. That's a command from your queen. Wow, check it out. A beautiful flower. Remember, Pumba, to stop and smell the flowers because you never know how long we got. You don't know how right you are. Oh, buddy, we got a big problem at the moment. Hakuna Matata Pumba! It means no worries for the rest of your days. Intruder in the Pride Lands, I better go get help before those idiots become breakfast. Hey, buddy, I don't mean to scare you, but there is a giant lion pointing at us. Are you serious, Pumba? Why is he pointing at me? Are you sure he is not pointing at you? You're the delicious bacon. I'm just an appetizer. Come here, little one. I want to talk to you for a moment. Lion Guard, Lion Guard. Sazu, what is wrong? You look worried. There is a lion intruder in the Pride Land near the narrow path. I think he is about to kill Pumba and Timon for breakfast. I'm on it, Zazu. You get to Queen Kiara and King Kovu and warn them about the situation. I will go deal with this lion myself. I won't let a rogue lion roam the Pride Lands unchecked, not on my watch. Hello, big, giant, lion. Sir, how may I help you today? I'm looking for a friend of mine. He's a lion like me. Have you seen him around? Well, to be honest with you, I see a lot of lions around here. <laughs> Is that some kind of joke, meerkat? <laughs> oh. 
What the hell, lady? Are you crazy or something? What are you doing here, intruder? You are trespassing in my territory. He was going to eat us and make us his breakfast. His McBreakfast. Is that right? You were hunting in another lion's territory? That is a penalty of death in Pride Law. I wasn't going to eat him. I swear I was only going to ask him a question. He is lying. He pointed at me like if I was his appetizer. Kill him, Vitani. Do it for the little guys like me and Pumbaa. Hey, don't listen to the little guy. Everyone relax and calm down. My name is Kivuli. I am looking for my brother. His name is Kayan. You are lying to me. Kayan doesn't have a brother. Either you tell the truth or I will rip your throat out. You heard the lady. Tell the truth or you are a dead lion. I don't think he is going to talk, guys. You really don't want to kill me. Because if you do, my big brother will be really upset. Your big brother doesn't scare me. I was born an Outlander and I will die an Outlander. Hold it right there, Outlander scum. Let my brother go or else. Are you serious? Puma, no warning, seriously. You didn't hear him coming? I'm so sorry, I thought it was the wind or me farting. Don't worry about me, I got plot armor. Damn, that lion looks even meaner than the one before. God, Pumba, how was he able to pick you up? Pumba weighs more than 200 pounds. You are screwed, lady. Just give it up. My brother is the strongest lion I know. Timon, what do you think we should do? Any advice would be appreciated? Even if we knew who this lion was. I don't think my gut would say to trust him. Poor Pumbaa is totally screwed. Where is my boy Simba when we need him? My queen, my queen. There is trouble in the Pride Lands. Zazu, what is it? What's wrong? He is out of breath. He must have flown here in a hurry. Relax, Zazu. Just speak when you're ready. There are two intruder lions within Prideland territory. At first, I spotted one and reported to Vitani. But as I was leaving, I spotted another one right behind the first. We are being invaded, my queen. Zazu, we need to find lion guard Kion and tell him about the intruders so he can put a stop to this. Dad, will you please shut up? Zazu, listen to your queen. Find my husband and tell him we are under attack. I will get Tifu and back up Vitani. We will defend Pride Land no matter what. Now go. Of course, my queen. I will do as you command. Every time there is trouble, my father runs to Kayon, not while I am in charge. Oh my gosh, my queen. What seems to be the problem? Tifu seems like there are lion intruders in the Pride Lands. I have a feeling it has to do with my dumb brother. Everywhere he shows up, he brings problems. Oh gosh, just like when we were kids. Seems like he always wants to be the main character. Like, come on, Kayon. The world doesn't revolve around you. My father is always protecting him. I just don't understand why he always does that. He lets him do whatever he wants. Lets him go wherever he wants. But when I was a cub, I couldn't do half the things he did. Now that I am in charge, things are going to change. Okay, just repeat after me. King Kovu? King Residu. King Kovu? King Baboon. King Kovu? King Tofu? I finally found you idiots. Where have you two been? I've been looking all over Pride Lands for you two. Hey Zazu, long time no see. What's up, little bird? Zazu, I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but you didn't refer to me as your highness. You two idiots need to get to the north border of Prideland. Vitani is fighting an lion intruder. But there are more than just one intruder in our territory. The queen has gone to intercept the other lion. Both of you need to go and back her up now. Let's go get them, Kion. This is exciting. Haven't been in a fight in a long time. It will be good to get back into action. My lion guard in the Dark Pride is so good that we have taken care of most of the problems already. The only problem we had was finding a good spot to relax and chill out. This is your last warning. Either let my brother go or I am making bacon out this fatty fat pig. What the hell, lady? Did you just attack me from behind? Does this pride have no honor? I am queen of the Pride Lands, and you and your friend over there are trespassing into my land. Pumba, buddy, are you okay? You took a pretty bad fall. Yeah, I'm fine. I got lucky my head broke my fall. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Did he just say he was invited? Boy, these lions are getting more crazier and crazier. We are not crazy. This pride is full of crazy lionesses, attacking two handsome lions from behind. Where is your honor, ladies? I bet y'all single, right? Raise your hand if you got a man. What does having a man have to do with being crazy? I'm guessing that's a no. Okay, pay attention, you independent shenanigans. We are not intruders. We were following and protecting our future king. Well, until we lost him. Did he just say he was following another lion? A lion that is a king. I better tell Zazu to start searching for the third lion. This is getting worse by the minute. If we don't fix this problem, we can start a war with another pride. And who knows how many lions they have. Did they just say war against another pride? And even more lions on the way? Pumba, we better get the hell out of here. Or we will end up as casualties of war. 
Man, my paws are barking. That was the longest run ever. Kings aren't supposed to be running like that. Hey, what are you guys doing to Matu and Kivuli? Man, no wonder every lioness in this pride is single. Y'all don't know how to treat a man. I actually agree with your brother this time. Kiara, sometimes you put too much attention into being queen. You know your man has needs, too. Kova, will you shut up? Kayan, how do you know these intruders? They're my lion guard. They are here to protect me. But I got so excited to be home that I ran too fast for them to catch up. Can't believe it took them a whole day to catch up. We are going to have to do more cardio drills when we get back homes, boys. These lions are your lion guard? Does that mean you are the king of the Tree of Life? No, no. I am not the king of the Tree of Life. I'm still the leader of the lion guard of the Pride Lands and the Tree of Life, just as my father Simba wanted, a guardian for both prides. Are you serious? You've been lion guard of both prides? What was my father thinking? We need a lion guard here protecting us, not somewhere else. I am always protecting both prides. Zazu was on alert to call me whenever my services were in need. Are you freaking kidding me? Even Zazu was in on this? Kovu remind me to discipline Zazu later on loyalty. Of course, honey. Um, so the reason you came back home was to protect us from a future danger. There is no danger to your pride. Kayan is here to give up his claim to Lion Guard. Once he gives up his title, he will be able to wed Queen Rani and become our Dark Pride King. We are on strict orders from the Queen herself. She wants her king back as soon as possible. Wow. I never knew how bad Queen Rani had a hold on Kayan. I guess this is why he was always in the Tree of Life when crap hit the fan. Don't worry, little brother. I relieve you from your Lion Guard duty. So you can go running back to your spoil Queen Rani. As queen, I point Vitani as the new lion guard of the Pride Lands. At least I know she will always have my back, no matter what happens. Do you accept this gift stored upon you? The duty of lion guard is the second most important job. Some lions find the power too strong and corrupts their soul. Just like my Uncle Scar when he was young, it drove him mad to lose the power of the roar. I gladly accept this honor, and I shall protect this pride alongside my queen and my king. Even if my life depended on it, I will fight with all my strength for the protection of my pride and family. That is all I needed to hear. The power of the Lion Guard and the protection of Pride Land is in your paws now. May it be an honorable reign. Congratulations, Lion Guard. I guess my job is done here. That is the only reason I came here for. I guess I better start packing my things to leave. Just the mandrill I've been looking for. Where have you been, Rafiki? I came all the way back home just to talk to you. The future king of the Tree of Life has traveled such a distance for an old mandrill like me. What seems to be the problem? Maybe Rafiki can help. All my life, I only had one mission. To bring peace to all the prides. But I have awoken danger from far away. Now he is coming for both of my homes. For the people I love, and I know nothing of him, but he knows everything of me. I have never seen you so shaken up before. The great lion guard has faced so many enemies. I guess there is a first time for everything. Tell Rafiki about this lion. Maybe I know him from my travels. I don't know anything about him, but he knows everything about me. And every time I try to negotiate peace and harmony between our prides, I just get the same answer over and over again. You will find no peace anywhere, no place to call your own. There is no peace for the wicked offspring of Simba the Lion King. Oh, fuck. Sorry I forgot your birthday, sweetie. Me and the boys got fucking wasted again. If it makes you feel better, shit felt like it was my birthday tonight.